are you and what do you do here? What do you mean you know who I am? No. <laughs> Mr. Morrison, assistant principal of DUI Regional High School. How long have you worked here? Uh, since about 2001. Um, Is that you before worked? you were born? All right. Have you worked anywhere else? Yeah, I worked at a uh, school in Boston, special needs behavioral school. What was different from there to here? Well, the difference between there and here, number one, all the kids uh, had some had uh, behavioral concerns. Matter of fact, we had to have a metal detector at school, so it was like going to the airport every morning. The kids would come in, line up, go to the metal detector, and go to class. It was also a much smaller school. In DY, I think there are about 150 kids as opposed to the 900 or so we have here. What made you want to become an, an, uh, a teacher? Well, I always wanted to be a guidance counselor. I went to college to be uh, a guidance counselor. I became licensed as a uh, social worker, licensed as a mental health counselor, and along the way, I uh, got my certification as a history teacher, a guidance counselor. Um, and just kind of fell into the administration part. When I was in Boston, someone said, geez, you might make a good administrator. You want to try that? So I did try it. I liked it and never looked back. Went and got my master's for administration as well. How long do you plan on being here? As long as I can stand up and smell the roses. What's your favorite part about DY? Uh, well, like I was telling people last week, I wake up in the morning, do some push-ups, then I like coming here to be a DY Dolphin. Primarily, I like that because of you guys. Do you have any odd hobbies or interests outside of school? Yeah, um, I like flying when I can. I love to shoot, um, target shooting. Uh, writing and singing, that's about it. Um, can you tell us about your war, war, like army experiences? Well, I'll say that no good soldier likes a uh, likes a war, but I will always be uh, grateful to Dennis Sharmouth Regional High School District because when I was uh, assigned overseas for about 18 months, they took really good care of me. Um, I got to Skype back and forth with the school, and it was, it was good. It helped me out a lot. Um, what were you like in high school? What was I like in high school? Somewhat crazy, I guess. I was voted best personality uh, in high school. I got along with, with most people. I really enjoyed high school. <coughs> well, obviously, I'm still in high school. Um, How has high school changed since you were a student? Hasn't really changed all that much. The same routine still exists. I think that uh, there's been some good and bad things because of technology. I think because of technology, kids have more resources to maybe learns things quicker, faster, but at the same time, um, I think it is causing some kind of stagnation with their communication skills. For example, everybody texts everybody now, they don't talk, but yet they'll say they're talking, but they're really texting, or twitting, or tweeting, or whatever you call that stuff. So that's a huge difference. Do you have any funny stories from when you were in high school? Um, I used to have a giant afro, and People always wanted to come up and push on it. It was real big and bushy. That's about the funniest story I think I have. What, is, what do you think is your most significant accomplishment here at DUI? Um, hmm. I think that's just coming to school every day and helping you guys out. And I think the real accomplishment, although not mine, I see every uh, graduation day because we do a good graduation here and just. Watching all those kids get their diplomas, it makes me feel like there's a big accomplishment. I had a part in it. Do you have anything else to say? What? Do you have anything else to say? About the, yeah. Well, a wise old man once said, that's about all I have to say on that. That's about all I have to say on that. I think that's You're welcome. My pleasure. Thank you, gentlemen.